Got him. No way. Yep. This is going to be interesting, that's for sure. No way. <laughs> what? Already a blob on it. Been a while since I've thrown the wand. So we'll just work our way slowly into the whole casting scheme of things. Already got one blob off his little snag, wasn't even a good cast. It's a cast. What? How are you not hooking up? It's gotta be some schooling, don't know. Tarpon or something? It's a little lure that I'm throwing, a little fly that I'm throwing. It doesn't have any trailers or assist hooks on it, so we're gonna have to get a lot of blobs, I feel like. Not a lot of hookups, so just gonna make the most of our chances. Get cast right in there. Um, be real patient, you know. I'm gonna say it's been maybe 18 months since I've thrown the, the wand around. And I've just gone for some of the hardest species to go for, even on conventional gear. Nothing like a challenge, that's for sure. They're still rolling whatever those things were in the middle. Got him? No. He hooked up though. He liked that little fly. The fact that they're schooling and hitting a little fly, I gotta say, they're like either herring or tarpon. There's a few of them in here. They're rolling. For all you non fly fishers out there, you probably don't haven't seen this one before, but for all you fly fishers, you probably know what this one is. Disco shrimp, very similar to like a splash prawn, but just a fly version. A little popping cup, cup face on it. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna work it similar to how I work a splash prawn. My favorite lure. Favorite top water prawn lure. Just have to get me casting back in. That's it. Get it right and close to the structure. A couple of little pops. Work it all the way back almost. Cause it's pretty shallow through here, so they could be sitting out in the middle. Right in close to the structure, who knows, but real close quarters sort of stuff. Definitely didn't ease my way back into this fly fishing stuff, just went straight for the hardest thing to do. Sorry if I really offend any fly fishers with my casting technique or 
my attempt at talking like I know something about fly fishing, but I've only done it a handful of times, nothing too crazy. Beautiful morning nonetheless, I'm having so much fun trying to learn this. Probably going to get dusted by one, probably. I got him. No way. Oh, I dropped him. Oh. You see what that was? That's epic. Never hooked one before. That was my first one, dropped him. Hope you saw that. Came acrobatic flying out of the air. That was epic. Well, I can go home a happy man. Not the target species, but hey, that's cool on the hook up on the fly. Just dropped him, that's all. Yep. Yeah. Epic. Okay, keep the tension. Keep the tension. Stay on. Stay on. Okay. Don't you jump or anything. Don't do anything silly. Epic. Stay on, mate. Epic. How am I going to land this thing? Oh. Epic. I'm going to lose him. I'm going to lose him. Never caught one of these before. Yes! How good's that? Oh, I knew that's what was hitting me before. How good's that? Epic. That's my first one ever, guys. First one ever. That is so sick. That is so sick. That's pretty cool. On the fly too. Epic. Just on that little disco shrimp. Burning it right back and he inhaled it. Dropped one literally the cast before. Okay, we'll just stop throwing the mangroves for a bit and see if we can't get another one. How cool is that? Never seen one in the flesh before, eh? That's epic. He's got a bit of damage on his tail and stuff, but we'll let him go. Came to tick off species on the fly, but that was not the right species, but but hey, I will not complain at all. On the fly, that's epic. Can't catch a tarpon on conventional gear, but I catch them on the fly. Go figure. There's another. How good's that? Oh, I dropped him. Bugger. Get it back in there, mate. Oh, I didn't even do anything for that one. You got it? Nope. They're loving this little fly. About frickin' three hits and about three casts there. Just peek around this corner a little bit more. If not, they might be behind us. We might just move on. Oh, there they are. They're over there. Oh, hit. Come on. Still there. There he is. He's only little. Alright. I get it, all you avo fly fishermen. I get it. Alright, we'll move on. Go back to the main target. The mission. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, the one behind it, oh, he's there still, come on, oh. 
school then I think. Oh, there was him, there he was. Wasn't very big though. Oh, saw him. Just swiped it. Typical little pesty fish. Just get right under it, hit it and then they swipe it and swirl on it. They don't really do too much. Snag over here. Got him. No way. No way. No way. I did it. I did it. No way. <gasps> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that is so sick. I've done it. That did not take long at all. That was a sight cast fish too. Oh, yes. That's him. Yes. How good is that? That is so sick. Oh, I have to get out and get a good photo of this one. Epic. He's not massive, but hey, it's a first. I'm so stoked. Oh, pop him in the net. Get some photos of him. Stoked is an understatement, guys. I didn't know if it was going to happen today, and I just decided to bite the bullet and um, go for these guys on the fly. No massive one at all, but you know, throwing these little sort of surface little flies around and stuff like that can be really, really fun. And um, super, super light gear, really, really cool. No monster at all, but I'm so stoked, eh? That is unbelievable. I gotta do it the right way and chuck the reel up on the back there, but there we go, that is so sick. Unreal. On the little disco shrimp, he absolutely clobbered it. You can see right down there. And um, he's big enough, so I'm gonna put a tag in him and um, then let him go. I'll just give him a quick breather. He's been out for a little while and then um, we'll get straight back into it. First on the fly. Unfreaking believable. I've been here for like 10, 15 minutes and I didn't know if it was gonna to happen today. Busted my tire on the way up here, so that delayed me by about 20, 25 minutes and I was really, really low in confidence, but you know, that was first snag I saw a couple of bust ups on. We're gonna pepper around these couple of snags up here and um, see how we go. Super, super stoked, guys. It's unbelievable. Really, really cool. So sick. Just caught on a little uh, disco shrimp. Uh, BWC flies, this is where I got that one from but very, very much like a splash from a nice little cut face on it. I literally saw that little jack busting up on some bait like five, 10 minutes and it was close enough to it and I saw the bow wave come out for it and he absolutely clobbered it. No way. No hesitations whatsoever. So that's really, really cool. Didn't take long at all and I'm so stoked. It's only a little fella, but first on the fly. First on the fly. So we'll pepper around come a couple of these snags up here and then we'll keep moving. I am no expert with the fly, so I'm learning just as much as you are guys, so we will figure this out together.
It was a hit. Come on. Oh, oh he's still on it. It's gotta be small. Just as I cast, there was like a little splash next to it. I thought it was Lewis spooking some mullet or something, but it might have been just a little brim or something. A little brim or a little jack. Alrighty guys, so things have really quieted down. You know, we're late season, you know, there's not a lot of bait and you can't hear any cicadas or anything like that. Last time I was up here, you couldn't even think because of the amount of cicadas that were up here and uh, doing it on fly is not easy stuff. So you know, this is the little fly setup that I was using. Really, really cool. It's a really cheap one. I got this off Wish, I think, the reel, and that's like an Abu Garcia uh, diplomat fly. That's what it's called. And on a business end, just a little disco shrimp. You've seen that one. Very, very good little lure. The same one caught the jack, as well as the tarp, and so, and I've caught brim and stuff like that in the past as well. So, but yeah, really, really cool. I'm super, super stoked to knock the jack off the fly. Uh, that's really, really cool. I've been wanting to do that for a little while. I'm no expert at all when it comes to fly fishing. So, if you are an avid fly fisherman or know a little bit and want to give me some tips and tricks, I greatly appreciate that. Uh, just because I want to learn the sport, um, I want to learn the art of fly fishing. Things are starting to cool down now, so that's probably a good way to end the jack season is a little one on fly. I appreciate you guys so, so much for tuning in week in, week out. And if this is your first video watching, hit the subscribe button as well. I'd really, really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you here quite soon guys. See you later.